don't know how many of y'all was able to catch um, Tommy's live. Um, I kind of dotted in for like five minutes to kind of check out, you know, what was going on with it or what topic was he trying to touch on. And and I see that he was going at Jessica Reed's mother. Now, um, for, for you guys that's new to the channel, I see my subscribers is kind of going up. I mean, a lot of you guys are new to the channel. If you're not familiar with the Jessica Reed story, just Google Charlemagne the guy, Jessica Reed. You know, you guys are pretty much, it, it'll fill you in real quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tommy is going to Jessica Reed's mother. Basically, he's saying uh, something along the lines of, uh, or insinuating that she's kind of touching a topic because it's involving money. Or like it's a hot topic, so he feel like money is being generated from it. And I guess he feel like her mother is only touching this situation because of money. Now, that's one of the most distasteful things I've ever heard. First of all, her mother is an elder. Her mother, we don't know what, what type of trauma her mother has been, um, or how many sleepless nights her mother done had since allowing her daughter to go with a guy like Charlamagne God allegedly and whatever happened and her watching the pain in her daughter's eyes. You know, um, he came and he, and he formatted a story. And this is what he said. He said, it's basically like if he's with a lady and they have a son together. And he tell her, I don't want nothing to do with that boy. I don't, that ain't my son, basically. I don't want nothing to do with him. You know what I'm saying? And the boy grows up to be 20 years old and, and just so happy. You know, let's say like the police kill him or something like that, right? And the family sues the city or the state or whatever the case may be. And they get like $100 million. And he's out there. And then all of a sudden, the father comes back. And he's holding a sign. Yeah, uh, they did this to my son. And, and this to go fund me, this, that, and the third. Like, basically, the father come back around because that son has some money attached to it. This is what he's saying equates to Jessica Reed's mother in that situation. It's one of the most crazy analogy I've ever heard because first and foremost, and I'm going to break this down. If a father said he didn't want nothing to do with the son, he's already wrong. Like he's already on a different playing field than what Jessica Reed's mother was. Because clearly if Charlemagne the guy had to come and ask her mother, for permission to take her whether we agree to her mother allowed him or not if he had to come and ask for permission that means it was some respect there for that child and he knew he had to go to that mother in order to get that child that means a, that means the mother has been having um uh some real real interaction or, or raising that daughter until what the young man know that he had to, in order to get her i gotta go talk to her mama about it so rather you agree tommy that her mother should have allowed her to go or not we all feel like her mother shouldn't allow her to go i'm giving you that and that's the only thing i'm giving you but that father and that mother is on two different playing fields. You said the father said he don't want nothing to do with the boy. Charlamagne, the God allegedly had to ask the mother for permission. Which means it's a respect level there. That mother and that daughter had that he know that I can't just go get her. Her mother care about her. Let me go ask the mother and try to con the mother and say, let me get the little girl or get the 15-year-old girl. So that's where you're wrong there, right? Now, fast forward it. You talking about um, if something happens to the little boy and then the mother uh, receives $100 million and the father comes back and starts talking about the GoFundMe account and all and this crap talking here. about basically, you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying, like you see him with the Black Lives Matter movement where a lot of those, those ladies, basically no justice, no peace. And then you've seen her, she's talking about the Black Lives and so on and so forth. And you see this woman go by, go pay $3.2 million out of Malibu, California and staying in the white neighborhoods. The same people that she claimed she was on your side for, what you described was the Black Lives Black Lives Matter movement, sir? You didn't you didn't you didn't describe Jessica Reed. The, you guys know, right? Um, um, Patrice, I believe, I believe her name was, and I'm just gonna fear off, and I'm gonna come on back. I'm gonna bring it full circle. Um, one of the co-founders of the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, she had fished three point two million dollars out of the Black Lives Matter. Um, the money that the Black Lives Matter was pulling in, she fished two, three point two million of that, and started putting money into real estate and basically um, using these families paying for financial gain. And then she coming back and putting, it, not taking the money and putting it back into the black neighborhoods. She took the money and bought some property out in Malibu with the white folks at. So that's kind of that's kind of what you just described, sir. Into where and, and on a smaller level, that's what you should have correlated that story with. Where it's like a father comes back around, see something happen to the son, and all of a sudden he he act like he out there going for the son. You know what I'm saying? Basically, won't just for the son, telling him to go find me accounts on so forth, and they taking money off the death of his son. That's what happened with that. Those two stories more or less correlated. You guys hit the like button if you agree with me. But those two stories more correlate than Jessica Reed, um, and his father that you was story or the story that you putting together, right? Um, but, the, but, the, but nevertheless, we're going to continue with your story. I, I just want to break down how crazy this sound. Um, 
you basically said, okay, the father comes around, he gets a hundred million, or he trying to get a part of the GoFundMe or the hundred million dollars after he just said he don't want nothing to do with that son, right? Okay. Jessica Reed's mother, as I stated, clearly had some level of respect because the boy knew that he had to come and get permission from that mother. Now, y'all on two different playing fields, as I stated. Now, fast forward to you said that the father wanted nothing to do with the boy. Um, The mother went to court with the daughter, stood beside the daughter. Actually, and her words was, she protected the daughter so much, she seen that so much trauma was on her daughter, um, so much trauma was on her daughter that she didn't want her to have to stand in front of the judge and relive that moment. This, this this is a mother that's really, really caring about her daughter even then. You see what I'm saying? Um, and to where she's mindful of her daughter's emotion. She's mindful of the things that her daughter has went through and to the point that she's willing to um, sacrifice, no matter what happens out of the situation, she's willing to um, sacrifice the emotion of her daughter or, or protect the emotion of her daughter and to the point where she won't even let her get on the stand because she feels as though this can even further the trauma. Now, Charlemagne the guy pleaded to a lesser charge. You said that she should have been in every radio show across America. Okay. Some people would feel that. You know, okay, if a mother, if if, if somebody do something to my daughter, I'm laying it all on the line. It don't make no difference. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we all the way out there. You know what I'm saying? But you can't say what the financial state was for that mother. Charlamagne the God moved on to New York and all type of stuff. These people here, if I'm not mistaken, they in South Carolina. You can't say that a mother can afford to go all the way to New York and be standing outside the radio station and protesting, not working. Basically, because if you're out there protesting, one thing we know about protesting, when you're out there protesting sun to sun down, you ain't getting nothing done. You ain't working. Because all your time, you're out there to protest in front of that radio station and trying to get justice and so on and so forth. Um, you don't know what that lady's financial state was. You don't know if she could afford to go to New York and miss work and not, you know what I'm saying? Because she still had to take care of those kids, right? And even if the kids is grown, she still have a life that she have to fund. We all have bills, uh, Mr. Tommy. So now, now you're wrong there too. <laughs> y'all comment below. Y'all tell me where am I going wrong, right? So that father that you named and his lady is on two different playing fields. The father never cared. He told the woman he didn't care, so on and so forth. Is what you the story you put together, right? Um, he just coming around for the money. This woman is raising the daughter. And it's just along the way, she made a bad move and letting her daughter leave, and we all agree to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can't be so vulnerable when you have a 15-year-old girl to allow her to go with another man, period. Especially when he's an adult. We all agree with that. But the way you matching and correlating your stories is crazy. And I see you yell back and forth for people on, on your mic. You yell, you yell, you yell back and forth. You just dis you disrespected the woman and told her she was saying the same thing over and over again on the mic. Um, but at the same time, uh, I think she was just trying to help you be more um, understanding that, you know, you can't tell nobody how to gauge the emotion or the trauma that they're dealing with their child and tell them what they should have did and, and basically disregard anything about Jessica Reed's mother because she didn't allow her daughter to take the stand. Well, you don't know the crying night. That, that little girl could have been crying sun up to sun down and, and her mother still knowing, I got to go to court and I got to take my daughter or take my baby up there and she got to relive that moment again. She could have been crying sun up to sun down all the way leading up into the court case or leading up to the court date. We don't know. And the mother was just protecting her cub and saying, you know what, baby? Um, I, I, you know, I don't want you up there. We're going, I'm going to try to battle and have, fight this for as much as I can on my side and, and we'll let the chips fall where they may. That's what mothers do. That that mean that mother cared. That's not that father over there that you're talking about that told the woman he want nothing to do with the child. Now, fast forward the story. You said she should have been in every front of every radio station across America or basically every radio station that he worked at. She should be in front of it. Basically going at Charlamagne and God and saying that she want justice for him. And like I said, you don't know what people's financial state is. You know, that woman could have been living paycheck to paycheck. You know, that don't mean that you don't want justice because you can't go travel all around America and every radio station that he's at or everywhere he's at and be protesting about the justice that you want. Now, Kwame Brown gave her, uh, uh, as his platform grew, this family, from my understanding, has been fighting for this for a long time. They've been fighting to, to get her word out there. Um, But one thing about it, when you got the masters and the power that be, the Charlemagne the guy have, you see how easy it is for him to shoot out a cease and desist? And silence guys even with a platform or try to silence them. Even guys with a platform like he tried to do to the Kwame Browns of the world, right? 
um, the lawyers he had behind him. You know all the money he making on white people. You know, like let's be let's be real. You know all the money he making them, them, them people up there. You see what I'm saying? They supporting and funding him by any means because that's their cash. That's their bank. You know, Breakfast Club is a syndicated radio show all across. Man, Google how many how many where are they touching? You see what I'm saying? How big the Breakfast Club is? He making them people millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. So they gonna protect their bag, right? Further the story, uh, Tommy. You can't say how many sleepless nights this woman had. had. Now she has the slightest opportunity to be able to, cause Kwame Brown shed a light on their situation. And as a mother, this is my opportunity. This man is giving me an opportunity to speak on his platform. He's giving me an opportunity. Baby, you can be heard just cause you can be heard. You see what I'm saying? All the nights over the last 20 years that we, that we've been trying and fighting and fighting and fighting with our little boy, look, with our little bit of, um, um, voice or a little bit of ability to be able to speak out. You know, Charlamagne the God and became Charlamagne the God now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's not hearing a little chirping at the bottom. You see what I'm saying? And he knew that he can silence them in different ways. You see what I'm saying? Um, and so at that point in time, you know, they fight can only go but so far. When you don't have the money, it, it takes money to go to war, Tommy. You just, you should know that. It takes money to go to war. When you don't have the money he had, when you don't have the 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 the, the power structure, when you don't have the powers that be, when you don't have the lawyers, when you don't have the man, it's hard. It's a, uh, you you fighting, you know what I'm saying? You bring a gun, you bring a knife to a gunfight. Like it's, you fighting an uphill battle. But Kwame Brown platform grew to be so massive, and he was willing to speak for the voiceless. So that's why you seeing the mother now. That's why you seeing her speaking out. That's why you seeing her bringing all the receipts, all the documentation, so on and so forth. So be mindful of what you saying, and get a woman a chance to speak, and finally be heard. You see what I'm saying? What you saying is distasteful to that family. You know, I see the way you yell at them black women to call your call your radio station. You say you was the first Kevin Samuels. You say he stole your blueprint. So within yourself, it lets me know that you feel like you should dominate a woman or 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 put them in their place. The way you just yelled at that woman on the thing on, on, on your live stream. I watched five minutes of it and I was out. Um, You won't even give a person a chance to uh, be heard when it comes to a Jessica Reed's mother because she should have been heard 20 years ago is basically what you're saying. So if she wasn't heard 20 years ago, you should sh you basically shut up now. That's what you're telling a, a, um, a elder, a woman, or queens, or sisters, or elders. Right? That's what you're telling them. There's something wrong there, brother. And I don't know how your mother raised you. I know they said you called your mama to be word live on YouTube. The way you talking to this older woman or being so distasteful or not even caring or disregarding their emotion and their pain, it shows me. Um, Somewhere along the way, you, you you had some the way your upbringing was. You see what I'm saying? Um, You have no respect for how many sleepless nights these people have had. You don't even care to even try to understand it because they should have did that 20 years ago. She should have been in front of all the radio stations, all, but you don't know what these people money like. Um, everybody not financially well off to be able to do that, Tommy. And that's all I want to say. Y'all hit the like button if y'all haven't already. Please um, like and subscribe. Turn me up. Turn on your post notification right now if you haven't already. I just want to say, each one teach one. As long as we got each other, we can continue to grow together. Right? Love, man. Tommy Sotomayor, understand this. That family deserves some justice, bro. And if nothing else, they deserve their words to be heard. You basically saying they should be silenced because you should have talked about that 20 years ago. And the story that you tried to correlate, I just wanted to dissect that for you. And uh, hopefully people can hear how crazy you sound. Because, brother, you off with that one.